As a game developer, you have to be ready to take on new challenges at any time. But this time... <sighs> I might have gone too far. So, not too long ago, I started creating with a friend of mine my biggest and most promising project to date, Club Penguin 2.0. Just kidding, we actually started working on an FPS video game that includes satisfying and challenging mobility. I won't give more details yet because we plan to release the game very soon and we don't want to spoil the game too much as of now. What you need to know is that the first thing we did when starting the project was to search for a good name. You guys know how good I am at finding names, so I immediately took the lead on that and proposed a very original, cool, easy to remember, and symbolic name. Okay, yeah, he chose the name. Our video game will be called Argon. By the way, we have a Discord, so go join it to be the first people to actually play the game when we will open the beta. The link is in the description. Okay, so once the name was chosen, what was left to do was... Well, code the entire game, duh. So as a base, I reused my old alien shooter project to kick things off. I then modified that base to implement the new mechanics of our game idea. That was the easy part. Because at that point, I didn't know the fun part had just barely begun. I had to learn how to make a multiplayer game in Unreal Engine. It turns out this thing is a lot harder than it looks. Some functions are called on the server, some on the client, some on all of them. Basically, I was completely lost. When I finally managed to understand enough to make it work, I was really happy and I jokingly told my co-founder that we were pretty much done with the game. <laughs> we... we really weren't. A disaster had just struck our rapid development process. I tried running the server as two separate things, just as it should be in the actual game, but nothing seemed to work anymore. I googled for solutions and thankfully there was a very simple one. You just have to download the entire Unreal Engine then compile over 5000 files and then switch your project. Of course, switching the project version. Oh wait, I just got a Discord message. Bruh. Okay, so where were we? Oh yeah, right. So at this point, if make sure you do just like and to build plugins you until engine your folder zero. reaches 270. Reaches. Then cast some shady magical spells, learn by heart a book about the history of Quebec and its deep relation to friends, wait for Danny to release a new video, and that's it. It's done. Easy, right? Okay, so now that we fixed the code, let me just open the. Oh wait, the blueprints are broken too. Okay, now it's done for sure. So let me try to launch it and... Aw oh, man, we have to compile again. Okay, so after hours of waiting and literally banging my head on my desk, I can finally launch the server file and it opens a beautiful server log for me to see what is going on. Nice. Then, as you can see, if I launch a client, I can click on my play button and it connects me to the server properly. We won't talk about the fact that I forgot to make it so the server actually waits for players to join before starting the game. I then coded a feature that forbids you to join a game when it is already started and voila! 
With this new setup, I can see all of the servers running, the amount of players online, and whether the game has started or not. Even though the start seemed chaotic, I must say I'm quite proud of what I achieved, and I can confidently say that we now have a running and working multiplayer game. Of course, the visuals and graphics of the game are not finished yet, and some are just temporary before we make better ones. The game in itself is not done yet, it is a work in progress. With Lakai, my co-owner, we are improving it every day, we are working efficiently and I must say, we are going far quicker than what we could have predicted. So expect the game to release soon. Until then, you can subscribe to my channel to get notified about the new devlogs that we will drop about the development of Argonia. And don't forget to join our Discord server as well in order to get some early teasers and to be included in the beta once we release the game for beta users. Anyway, see you around on Argonia!